Magic played the liner and to make the last payment today. And I drive to all points out of New York City to L.A. Well, a little woman smiles when I pack up the lever. I'll soon be back, but I've just got the fever. She's a believer. I got the freight liner fever. There's a real road a-running by the highway out in Santa Fe. And I passed an old freight train a making his run the other day. Merle Haggard said to his fireman's a pail, he's a blowin' this a freight train off of the rail. He got the fever, fever. He's got the freight line of fever. Well, here's said red of what you can in that cigarette pack. All right, guys, welcome to the final video of the reefer trailer build. If you've been following along this uh, build series, it's finally done now and uh, really happy with how it turned out. I put a lot of time into this thing and I think it turned out really good. So I thought I'd just do one last little video and uh, show you guys in a little more detail some of the parts that I've added to it um, and give you guys my final thoughts. Maybe if you're thinking of picking one of these trailers up or, uh, or you already have one and you want to change it over from that uh, deep freeze uh, to me, uh, uh, I guess the original look to, to more of a North American style uh, design. Um, hopefully this video helps out. I'll also be selling some of the parts that you'll see on this trailer um, on my Facebook page in the near future. I'll get around to making a little video and I'll show those parts in a little more detail. But uh, things like the fuel tank and the, the crank handle, I got the, the little um, cross member down there, the wing plates. Some bits and bobs in the front here, like the, the air plate. And then mainly the, uh, the back side of the trailer, which I think is gonna be probably the most popular item. Uh, the doors and the door frame and the bumper and all that stuff. So I'll flip it around so we can see that. Um, and then I'll show you guys as well the inside of the trailer, which is really cool. I got a little switch down here. One for the lights, as you just saw, and then one for the, uh, one for the, um, the fan in there, which kind of simulates the reefer unit. So I flick that on and there's a little fan behind the bulkhead and that just blows out some air, uh, which I eventually want to get a little fog machine and I'll hide it, I'll hide it in the pallet and then that'll hopefully simulate the, uh, the cold air being blown out the, uh, the back doors like you'd see maybe on a hot summer day or something. So anyway guys, that's, that's pretty much it for this video. I'll turn this off so you guys can hear me. Um, yeah, and then that'll be it. So I'll get the camera down and we'll go around it in a little more detail. All right guys, just starting off with the front of the trailer. I know you've seen a lot of this before, but I'll just kind of go over it one last time there. Uh, you can kind of see the roof and some of the little rivets that I put in there. I ended up painting this. I said I wasn't gonna paint it, but I wanted it to match some of the other parts. So I gave it, gave it a light dusting with the aluminum paint to kind of give it a bit of a faded look. And there you can see some of the rivets on there. Um, so the, the, the reefer unit doesn't come with these logos here. I printed those off and just put them on as well as that little precedent, uh, logo. It came with this display, uh, decal. I painted the little handle black. There's the, uh, I don't even know what that's called. Um, it lets you know that the reefer unit's on. One guy was actually telling me that that light should be white because the new Thermal King uh, units are white, not green. So um, this just goes to show you how some of those details people notice. So anyway, um, but I don't think anybody's gonna call me out on that. But anyway, you can see some of the details I got going on here. There's the air plate. It's really nice because this can hook onto my globe liner, which you saw earlier there, um, the airline uh, little system that I've got going on. So uh, red, blue lines, and then the electrical cord, and then they just disappear into nothing down there. Got a few little uh, little decals I made up, just printed them on my inkjet printer, like I did so many other things on this trailer. But uh, anyway, um, here are the, uh, the the drain hoses that you'd see on, on the reefer trailer. And that's the front end. I didn't end up putting any uh, running lights on the top side of the trailer just because it would have been too hard to hide those wires as opposed to the bottom here where I could just slide them under the floor. So anyway, that's, uh, that's that. There's another little look at the, uh, the little box up front. Um, yeah, all these little, uh, the, the DOT uh, reflective stickers, the, 
little stout logos I made on my inkjet printer. You don't need anything fancy. These little uh, numbers here are vinyl uh, stickers that I got from Amazon. Uh, these are half inch. Uh, these ones are quarter inch. You can get them in a big pack for like eight, nine bucks. So that's what I use for those. There's the little, the CVI inspection decal. I mean, it's so small, you can't even, you can't even pick that up. But anyway, just looking down the side of the trailer, underneath here, we got the, uh, the cross member for the uh, dolly legs that turned out really good that'll be one of the items I'll put on my on my page for sale it slides in there nice and easy these little wing plates as well I kind of made up I know it's dark under there but if I can get it to focus uh, you can see some of the details on there there you go there's the uh, the handle coming out the crank and then the fuel tank right there, that turned out pretty good. That'll be another item I'll have on my a page. A couple of pieces, 3D printed pieces you glue together, fill, sand, and then paint. And then I just added some, some bits and bobs to it there to simulate, uh, I guess that'd be the fuel gauge. And then the, uh, the banding there with some pinstripe tape. So that turned out pretty good. Underneath here, oh, actually, you know what? Right here used to be that third axle. Started off as a three axle trailer. And I got rid of that axle there and I just filled those holes in with some, uh, let me see them there, come on. It's just some little black screws. Um, there they are. So I got rid of those holes and then underneath I kind of went around and painted a few things black. I don't really like this hardware that Tamiya used um these silver phillips heads um so i went around and changed a few things out to hex painted this bar black and then continuing on here you've already seen the, the little 3d printed hubs over top of the nuts uh there's the mud flaps those were easy enough i just drilled another little hole out in the frame and then uh, popped those in and then kind of coming on the to the back here i added these little plates uh, which you'd see on a real trailer anyway. I don't know what, what the name of it is, but the nice thing is it hides those wires, uh, the five mil bulbs going into the bumper. So that turned out pretty good. Uh, you know what? I'll flip the trailer around and then we'll look at the backside. All right. You've already seen the doors. I painted them with that uh, chrome Rust-Oleum paint. It turned out really good. Just one thing to, to consider. Uh, you got to let this stuff cure for like weeks, it seems, because it, it does mark up. Pretty easy. I thought it cured, but you can kind of see there my fingerprints on it. That kind of sucked, but uh, oh well. Um, you can kind of see the little pin stripe stripe tape I've added around the edges to simulate the weather stripping. There you can kind of see the marker lights. I got some really cool little uh, bulbs from uh, Digikey out of Minnesota, and then. Um, what else have we got here? Continuing on. Oh, down here you got the uh, the little bumper stops, which you'd see on most trailers. I'm just waiting on the uh, lenses for the brake lights for the uh, uh, from Tamiya. So once those show, show up, it'll be a hundred percent done. And then a little more uh, reflective tape on the bumper or the Mansfield bar, whatever you want to call it. There's a little scale license plate I just printed up. Nothing special. What's with the focus right now? It's just driving me nuts. A oh, cool little license plate. Um, I'll show you guys underneath uh, when I get it flipped over. The, the mainly the uh, uh, the brake pods and all that, all those little details down there. You can't see too much like this, so I'll I'll flip it over. You've already seen it, but I'll just show you guys once again. So anyway, I'll get the uh, camera down and I'll show you the operation of the door.
All right, guys, there's a little look at the inside. You can see the air chute up top there. And then there's the, uh, the bulkhead, uh, the fan up top, blowing the air out. So, there's the aluminum floor you've seen before. That turned out really good. I picked the stuff up from a, a dumpster at an aluminum warehouse. They were throwing it out, so lo those worked out really good. And then you can see I kind of just beveled the edges a little bit. There's that uh, corrugated piece from Evergreen Plastics to simulate that scuff guard uh, running down the side there. You know what, I'm going to turn the reefer off so that I can talk a little better. So one last look here before I close this up. You can see the inside of the doors. I don't want to open this all the way either just in case I, I snap off one of these hinges, but um, you can see it, it opens up pretty good. So. But anyway, I painted the inside of the door white, which you'd see on most reefer doors. And then uh, added that little plate on the bottom there with the rivets. Uh, and then I got these little pallets here that I've been working on. That turned out pretty good. Little pallets of uh, buckets. I got paint here, I got some dangerous goods over there. And I made a few of these up for a couple guys for their Smokey and the Bandit trailers. So I ended up making one for myself because these turned out pretty good. So I don't go in there like that. It'd be nice to get a little RC forklift and uh, load the stuff in there. But just to show you guys, I, I ended up getting lucky as far as how well they fit, or these these buckets at least. You can you can chimney block them in there with a little bit of persuasion. Well, I went in there pretty good. All right, here you can get a look at the bottom side of the trailer in a little more detail. Um, there's the lights, the five mil bulbs going into the bumper. There's those little, those little pieces there that hide those uh, wires. Um, there's a little hole between the frame here near the back that is convenient as far as uh, running the wires. So they go from underneath the floor and then right between the frame here. You can kind of see, there's the uh, the brakes right there, which you've seen before, but you can see them one more time. The little air tank and the uh, the brake hoses, uh, the brake chambers and the slack adjusters, the little S cams that go into the uh, into the wheel. So anyway, as far as the wires are concerned, they come right down the middle there. I removed one of these cross members uh, so I could get a battery in here. I just got this little two cell lipo, uh, which is more than enough for the fan and the lights. So anyway, there's the, uh, there's the line of wires coming right to these two switches here. One for the, uh, one for the lights and then this one here for the, uh, for the reefer unit. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps it up for this one. Hope you enjoyed the uh, video. I know it was a little bit longer than I wanted it to be with uh, all the out of focus stuff and not the greatest at, at editing, but uh, uh, it was nice uh, sharing this with you guys, all the build footage from the previous videos. Hopefully that stuff helps out and you enjoyed it. Um, that's it for this one. I got a really nice uh, build coming up next. I'm going to put two flatbed trailers together and connect them with a two axle dolly trailer that I started months and months ago. So 
Uh, still with the 114 scale stuff. I'll get back into some run footage with the crawlers and uh, maybe get this thing out uh, for a couple runs um, eventually. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.